I spend a lot of time in my job evaluating lymph nodes in the neck. The status of lymph nodes is critical to the prognosis of patients with head and neck cancer. So let's look at a couple of lymph nodes and talk about them. Here's patient one. I'm going to, just going to give you an arrow on all these. This isn't a test of your eyes to see if you can find the thing. I'm just going to tell you what we're talking about. So there's a lymph node with an arrow on it in a patient with head and neck cancer. I'm going to blow that up so it's easier to see. The same patient, just a blown up image. What do you think's going on with that lymph node? Would you call that a metastasis? Here's patient number two. Again, I'm not going to test your eyes. I'm just going to point to the abnormality. And once again, I'll make it bigger so you can see it. There, another lymph node. Would you call this one metastatic disease? So here they are side by side. This would be a good point to pause the video and see if you can decide for yourself what's going on in each of these two lymph nodes. Okay, here's patient number one. This time I'm going to give you a coronal reformat of the exact same node so that you can see that what looks like necrosis in the center of the node is in fact partial volume of a fatty hilum. And you can really see that that's a fatty hilum when the image is reconstructed into a different plane. That is partial volume of a normal fatty hilum in a perfectly normal lymph node. Here's patient number two, and I'll give you both the coronal and sagittal reformats of that exact same node. In every single projection, it looks the same. It's got a low density center, and it's got an enhancing rim around the outside. This isn't some partial volume fooler. It really looks like that in every plane. This is a metastatic node with necrosis in the center. Even though it's small, it doesn't meet size criteria by anyone's standard. That's why size criteria is not a great criterion. It's not a great way to judge nodes. Necrosis, central necrosis, true central necrosis will trump size criteria every single time. So this is a classic error to assume that a benign fatty hilum is in fact central necrosis. That's a benign lymph node. This one is true necrosis in a necrotic metastasis.